to my channel, Mystic Wendy. I'll be doing uh, some intuitive tarot card reading. This is going to be generalized, as I keep telling everybody, because I can't see your face. But um, this is going to be an intuitive tarot card reading for Capricorn. Is that focused? Yep. Yeah. Virgo. And Cancer. All right. And they'll all be on the same video, and uh, I'll be doing Capricorn first, then Virgo, then Cancer. So if you want to uh, skip everything and go right down to your um, zodiac sign, just go down to the description box, and you'll see the time stamped. So you'll see which, uh, what time yours starts. What, so you just zoom forward, okay? So I hope you all resonate with it, and you have a great day. Okay, here goes Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Oops. Oh, that's nice. Oh, good. It's starting off very good. <clears throat> I like that. I like that a lot. Capricorn. I see a Leo looking at you. like protection. Yep, and another one. Look at all the strong people. All men so far. I like that. Very protective person. This loving person. A protective person. A very intelligent person. <laughs> and intuition, I see. Spiritual. Well, that was that was it. <laughs> That's a small message, but it's a, so far it's a really nice message. I see really nice. Um, I see you're just, you know what? This is for men, okay? I know these cards are usually for male or female, but for some reason I'm seeing men, just men. So and I, yeah. So anyhow, I see there's a lot of love here. <laughs> And uh, it's really nice, very family oriented. Um, it's like men with kids. You're doing really well. I see, oh, it's so nice. I really feel a lot of love uh, for you guys. I don't know why. What is this message about? <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Uh, you know what? I think I see people changing. I don't know. Anyhow, this guy is very passionate and very authoritative, strong person, and it's someone behind him constantly by his side. And I see a lot of love here, a lot of respect. Um, yeah, a lot of nature too. I see an awful lot of nature here. And yeah, this one is very intelligent and spiritual. I see this as a very spiritual person, uh, like an intuitive person. And he's receiving messages and you're all just helping each other. So if any one of you is, um, I don't see anybody feeling insecure or negative. I see you're all very strong, very passionate, very loving. This is Capricorn, very strong, passionate, loving. I see you're all just like, um, oh, what's the word? What is that word? You're all just very, um, 
Well, anyhow, you're just being very strong and doing what you, you're making changes. That's what it is. You're changing. You're changing society. This is what I'm seeing. Society is changing. And it's changing for the good, for the best. Um, a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of intelligence. And I don't see any negativity or, um, you know, I don't see any uh, aggression here. It's just beautiful. I wish there, I could just tell you the message. <laughs> I just see so much love here. So, and it's all men, you're all men for some reason, which is a good reason. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are all sticking together and you're making changes uh, in a very positive way and very, very positive. I do love this. And I see you're all just helping children and I see children and animals but this is all love and affection and, um, oh, yeah, you're connecting with uh, each other. You're connecting. All the men are starting to connect together and make changes uh, on the planet. And I see it's uh, all different, yeah, different cultures. And you're all working very well together. I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, this guy looks like a Viking, eh? So it's probably Northern uh, Europe. And uh, I just see an awful lot of intuition, a lot of psychic abilities, a lot of intuition. Uh, you're helping uh, Mother Earth. And yeah, I know a lot of you are not gonna like this reading. You're probably, what is she talking about? But this is what I'm seeing and hearing and this is what I'm saying. Okay, I know a lot of you are will understand and will be able to resonate with this. And uh, you're all very, um, very positive, very respectful, very, um, oh yeah, intuitive and, you know, communicating with each other in a very positive, loving way. And I see the planet, you're, you're gonna make the planet look really good and change it to a very positive, in a very positive way, okay? No aggression. You are all humans. Okay, next I'm going to read, uh, pull a card for you from the Work work Your Light Oracle deck. Okay, this is for a Capricorn. Capricorn. I see this is just so powerful, very powerful, very spiritual. And yeah, when I say spiritual, I'm not really talking about religious religion. I'm just talking about how you're all just doing what you're, the messages that you're receiving and how you're feeling, what you're drawn to. And it's, it's positive, very positive. Okay, Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. 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 This is Capricorn. Come on. All right, Sisterhood of the Rose. This is beauty and devotion, priestic, priestess, mystic, and teacher. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, can you see that? Are we zooming in? Come on, let's zoom in. Come on, there we go. Okay, you see that? Okay. 
Isn't that nice? So it's Sisterhood of the Rose. You know what? I'm going to read that. Read it from the book. There's something I really need to tell you. There's, this is what I'm hearing. Okay, Sisterhood of the Rose. That is... All right, <clears throat> so I'll read this for you guys. Sisterhood of the Rose is beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. So the Sisterhood of the Rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their lives to serving humanity and seeding light consciousness all over the earth. Wow, isn't that what this is telling me here? All over the earth, a cross section of ancient lineages it is the path of devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. The rose symbolizes the heart and the sacred geometry of all life. You are being called to notice the beauty around you, particularly in nature, and hear the whispers of Mother Earth. You are being called to spend more time in nature as all the ancient secrets live here, live there. Mother Earth is a is constantly whispering spend time admiring her creations and you will be rewarded with insight and grace you are being called to take a little more time to both notice the beauty that exists all around you and contribute to the beauty of the world in your own way too this could be through your own creations or in the little things like how you dress to picking flowers for your home Every time you devote your time to creating beauty, you harmonize the planet a little more and the shift in vibration can be felt. So surround yourself with beauty and create beauty wherever you go. Oh, I love that. Love, love. Sisterhood of the Rose. Okay. It's not funny that that's what I was seeing in the tarot cards. How come this is not... Come on, let's focus. Focus. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I love this. This is wonderful. 100% positivity. And yeah, I do see a lot of change happening. Let me show these cards to you, okay? I gotta show these to you. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, look at that. That's love and affection with all people and animals, okay? This one is passion and strength. And, you know, I see this 100% positive and respect. And, oh, my God, I love this. Love this. Look at the lion. I see that as Leo looking at you. <laughs> and then the other one is um, King of Swords. A lot of people think swords is all aggression, but swords people are extremely strong and intelligent as well and this one is very spiritual okay very intelligent very spiritual and i see you're all working together i see these are different cultures and you're all working together to improve mother earth to help mother earth and uh, improve the planet i love it love it love it and i really hope this resonates with you guys and I really hope this all works well. I love it. I've got the chills. I've got, I got chills. Can you imagine? Goosebumps. Okay. Wow. I'm getting goosebumps all over me now, all over my face and everything. <laughs> wow. I love that. I love that. Love that. Okay. So I really hope, yeah, I really hope this resonates with you guys. And I'll see you next month, okay? So now I will be reading for Virgo. Oopsie. Okay. Oh, God, that was good. I'm sniffing because I'm allergic to cats. Okay, guys, I have three of them. And I've got the door shut, and one of them has his paws under the door saying, let me in. Okay. Oh, okay. i got to let him in. He's meowing. Are you coming in, Jasper? Yes, no? Okay, you stay outside. In the hole. All right.
Okay. Here goes. This is for Virgo. All right. Virgo. for Virgo. Any messages for Virgo? Any messages from Virgo? Okay, here goes. That was fast. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Wow. Virgo. Anything for Virgo? For Virgo. Unbelievable. This is another excellent reading. Come on, Virgo. That's amazing. That's it. All right. Okay. Okay. So what I'm seeing, everything is 100% positive again. The first reading was excellent. I can see this one is also very excellent. Oh, I, I, I uh, okay. So, right off the bat, there is, um, this is all about creation, and yeah, I see an awful lot of people are meditating, manifesting, a lot of manifestations going on, and uh, I just, you know, I see a lot of people are changing, and for the 100% positive naturally positively it's i really see this is really good again this is a second reading today that is so much about um letting go of all the stress and garbage that's in society and changing it and just do what you're drawn to it's, this is what i'm seeing do what you're drawn to i see an awful lot of magical stuff too so those of you who are right into, say, witchcraft, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. It's positive and do all positive spells. And I see this one's doing exactly that. And she has like candles around her. She's using all her great energy, healing energy. And she has her staff there, which is extremely powerful. And, you know, whatever she's, you're, you guys are doing, male or female, um, I see an awful lot of practicing, a lot of, um, yeah, meditating, manifesting, a lot of practicing on how to uh, change things in a very positive way. And it's, it's working. It's working. Okay? And 
yeah, I see a lot of gardening going on, a lot of Mother Nature, just like in the last reading I did. I'm getting it again here, but a lot about Mother Nature, planting trees, and um, say this is Seven of Pentacles, which is all about, um, you know, education, materialism, and all that stuff, and uh, faith and wisdom and understanding. But I also see in here planting, Mother Nature, plant some trees, and um, take care of the earth. Help Mother Nature, help the earth grow. Oh, I'm hearing composting, okay? So composting is all your kitchen scraps and stuff. Um, compost it or just put it in, in the earth, okay? You can dig holes and stick all your kitchen scraps in the earth. As long as it's all natural, healthy stuff, do it. And uh, I see, oh yeah, a new... Okay, wow, wow. A lot of cups here. Uh, okay, so yes, I see. So that's what I'm seeing what I just said. And also gatherings, gatherings. With all, this is what I'm seeing and hearing all different races, except everybody, including um, the LGBT, and uh, that, I know that's not exactly what this card means, but that's exactly what I'm seeing and hearing. And uh, I see a lot of love, all different cultures gathering together and improving, making improvements on this planet. Okay. That's what I see, and it's working out. You're doing very well. You're working, and it's doing well. You also have to have some patience and some uh, workout for balancing things. You need patience, and you need to also, um, like what she's doing here about learning how to use your healing, um, develop some healing skills, use your own healing energy to heal your own body, and uh, it works and you will have a lot of uh, so this is an angel as well guardian angel and spirit guides are also with you and um, helping you out you just have to make sure you calm down and receive messages okay I don't have to say I don't say this all the time but this is what I'm hearing and seeing right now so this is all about yeah spiritual messages and that and so you meditate and you listen to the messages but you know what i also hear messages i meditate too but not every day but messages i find uh from spirit guides and your guardian angels and um you know celestial beings <laughs> the messages they actually come in a very soft way this is what i i noticed uh very subtle that's the word subtle and so if you're thinking about it, then all of a sudden a word flies in your head and you're like, and you weren't thinking about it, but boom, it's there. That's a message. That is a message, okay? I also receive messages when in dreams. And uh, so it also, anyhow, just wanted to let you know, you will be receiving messages. And um, yeah, I see an awful lot of meditation. A lot of healing energy. A lot of healing energy. This is what you're working on, healing energy. And yeah, I, I see this is doing very well. Yeah, a lot of healing energy. You're collecting a lot of stuff, a lot of, you know, stones and shells and, and um, anything. You're working on anything that kind of reminds me of Buddhism as well, and shamanism, and uh, witchcraft, and it's all working, it's all positive, what you're doing, and yeah, and, and I, I see this is what you're doing this month, and this is what you're, actually not just this month, because there's a lot of um, major arcanas here, so, well, there's two major arcanas, which means you are working very well, and it's going to be a um permanent thing that you're working on okay and it, um yeah i see this is excellent very great whatever you're doing you're doing a great job <laughs> really nice 
Okay, I'm now going to pull a card for you from um, the Work Your Light Oracle deck. Okay, this is for Virgo. Virgo. Anything else they need to know to help them out? Oh, that was fast. Wow. Okay, which means the Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive Hits and Soul Tribe. Okay. Can you see that? Come on, let's resonate. This cameraman. There we go. Okay. That's a soul tribe. But you know what I see a lot? I see a lot of crystals. That's what I see. A lot of crystals. Clear quartz. Is that what you're all collecting? Anyhow, you know what? I'm going to read this for you. Um, so I want to make sure you all get it. Hold on. Great gathering. Okay, 96. There we go. Okay, so I'll read this for you. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits and soul tribe. You are being called to let your intuition move you physically. You are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet. And as you travel and share your creation, something is rethreaded. This card is an acknowledgement that you are either being called to connect with others who are like you at a soul level or that you already are. You are being called to gather groups of people, either by leading them or becoming part of a group that can support you and your soul's personal mission. You are part of a group of souls who agree to be here at this time in history to heal yourself, your ancestral line, and the planet. To raise your, to raise, sorry, to raise consciousness so that we can continue to call this magnificent place home for eras to come. One of many consciously choosing to devote your life to something greater than yourself. It's time to call in your tribe to sh by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen. When, you're, when you share what is real and true to you, and you share the medicine that you most need, those who are like you will gather around you. You are your tribe. They are just like you, and just as you are longing and searching for them, they are longing and searching for you too. So work your light is hold, hold your hands to your heart and say, I choose now to let myself be seen. I am ready to call in my soul tribe and create a web of light all over the planet. Wow, this is amazing. I like that. This is amazing. Okay, I really hope this all resonates with you all. And um, I see this is actually fantastic. Fantastic. So, uh, yep, so that's it. I hope it resonates with you, and I'll see you next month. All right, I'm now going to read for Cancer. Uh, Zodiac sign. Cancer. Oh, that was great. Okay, thank you so much for that. That was wonderful. Okay, this is for Cancer. Here we go. Any messages for Cancer for the month of March? Sorry, the battery died. I just changed the battery. And I'll just continue. Okay, anything else for cancer? Anything else? To Zodiac sign cancer needs to know. Is there anything else I need to know?
Okay, I think that's it. All right. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so what I'm seeing is uh, I'm seeing that uh, there's a few of you that are very strong and um, very strong and confident and you, you're going to be doing, you want to do some things and let me see. Uh, yeah, you're going to be doing, taking risk, a lot of risk taking. This is what I'm seeing. Is something you want to do. It's going to be very risky. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay. So there's something that you two want to do. There's two of you. Okay, I know there's two people together that are, are thinking about stuff. This is what I'm hearing. There's something you want to do, something you want to start. It's going to take some risks doing it. It's going to be a very risky thing. Um, but I'm being told you better sit back and think about it some more. Even though you're both very authoritative and very intelligent. And, um, yeah, very intelligent people. It is a big risk. Think a little bit more about it. Um, yeah, just sit back and think a little bit more about it. And until both of you agree with what it is you want to do, and then, oh, let me see. Okay. Yeah, it's all about traveling. There's something you're going to be doing about traveling. You want to travel desperately. You desperately want to go and travel. <laughs> World traveling. This is what I'm saying. You just want to travel to other countries and enjoy. And there's something, yeah, there's something you need to do there. But what you need to do is to look after yourself. Be patient. Look after yourself. Um, you have spirit guides and guardian angels right by your side trying to tell you, relax, calm down, and um, yeah, you need to eat properly. That's not what this card means, but that's what I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm hearing that. This is all about Mother Nature again. This is the third reading that I'm hearing now, all about Mother Nature, how she wants you to help Mother Nature do some planting, plant some stuff, foods and trees, and help repair um, the soil with all the uh, composting. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, you have to look after yourself. Whatever it is you're, you're planning on doing that's very risky, um, yeah, think hard about it before you start, okay? And make sure everything is nicely balanced and it's going to work out. Um, and, yeah, be a little bit patient. Look after yourself. Take care of your health. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm hearing. All about health, really. Uh, mental health. It's all about mental health. Yeah. And you want to travel. Okay. Okay. So this message that's coming is not that clear, but it's all about how uh, you are very strong and, um, yeah, you just feel a lot of power. You're very strong and powerful. And, yeah, there's things you want to do that it's very risky. Uh, but the message here is telling you calm down sit back, think about what it is you want to do, um, make sure you get everything, whatever it is you want to do, make sure it's, it's all well balanced before you start. Um, yeah, think about it, okay? And just be patient, just be patient, and it will work out, all right? It will be okay. Um, yeah, and again, make sure you eat healthy. Take care of yourself. Do a lot of planting. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm here. So now I'm going to pull a, a card for you from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. And 
This is for cancer. Cancer. All right. And the message for them this month of March. Let's see. Is there a message for cancer for the month of March? Help them out. Okay, star mother. How can you mother yourself? All right. This is called star mother. How can you mother yourself? You see that? Focus. Come on. There we go. All right. It's a star mother. Okay, I'm going to read this for you. Star Mother. All right. Okay, so this card. Star Mother, how can you mother yourself? You are more held than you could possibly imagine. Loved and cherished so dearly that if, that if you knew... You would not spend one second of your life in separation, worry, or fear. Let the mother carry your burdens. Let her rock away your fears. Lay all of your worries, regrets, shame, and guilt on her altar. Please, please, sweet child, do not fear. You are, in, you are, you are love in motion if you allow it. You are already healed. Let her remind you of your goodness let her love away your fears you your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself be compassionate and your sweet body mind and soul treat your body treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own you have got this and the mother has got you. Let her broad let her broad arms take away your burdens. Let her lift the weight of the world off your shoulders and forgive yourself, my dear sweet child of the earth. Okay? So there you go. I hope you can resonate with that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. I, please listen to that. Okay, so I hope this all resonates with you and uh, you guys have yourself a great day and I'll see you next month.